Okay, today I'm with my Model 200 target stand. And I'll tell you, this thing is just a joy to use. Because uh, sitting up at target can be a real big issue. I mean, when we used to go out and shoot, I mean, a lot of times we'd have to look for a rock, put it in a box, or just, you know, something that was never stable and was just always a big hassle. But by designing this, I wanted something that was going to be portable. Uh, it weighs 8 pounds, got a handle on it. I can carry two, three out there if I'm going to set up multiple targets. Uh, uh, to pop it open, I simply push it back here. It's, it's held together by two detents. It just snaps back and forth together. Uh, when I open it up, and you can see these spikes here. I can set this up to sit on any slope. So if I need to sit this on a slope, it's no problem. I simply just tighten uh, my tightener here, and I'm locked in place. Uh, then, like I said, to close it, you close it down, snap it in place. Now for a backer board, I have one set up here, which simply I just make two holes in it, and I just stick it in here and I clamp it on. I use a Elmer's board from a Walmart. Now Elmer's board, I mean, it costs like a couple bucks, and I mean, it virtually lasts, I mean, for countless of thousands of rounds. And what I like about it, it gets my target up away from my target stand. Now this is what I use for rifle shooting. Uh, and the other, the other thing I like about our setup, it's, it's level across here, so when I go to set the target stand up, I can get it to where it's level. Because I want this to be level here, because I want my crosshairs to be level when I'm down there sighting in. I don't want this to be, you know, out of level. Uh, when it's windy out, which today we got about a 10, a little over 10 mile an hour plus wind, this little screw here, there's a lath behind here that I got stuck in between here, going all the way up to here, I simply put screws in it. And that obviously makes this whole thing more rigid. Now, if I was going to use the pistol target, because the pistol targets we like to get up to about here. And I get there again, I use foam core board, and I'm going to get them from like uh, any craft place is going to have that. Uh, and there again, I'll use a lath there for certain to reinforce that to get that up higher. Because everybody wonders what happens, they say, Wally, what happens? If I shoot this thing, I mean, this, this the stand they think is expensive. If I shoot it, I get a wreck it. As long as you put the target up here with a rifle, hitting it here is no issue. But if you do shoot it there with a center fire rifle, there again, this is aluminum. The bullet's going to go through there. It's no problem. If you do hit it down here, well, then we have to replace it. All the pieces are individually replaceable. But as long as the target's up high, it's not an issue. Uh, there again, center fire rifle. You can, it's not that big a deal, but handguns, I mean, do hurt it because of the slow moving bullet. So there again, I emphasize having that target up plenty high, like I have it about six feet high when we're out shooting handguns, so then it's totally a non-issue. Uh, but anyway, oh, as you can see, I got stakes on here and they go in the ground. Now here, we in a this gravel pit, the ground is obviously pretty hard, so sometimes I'll have to put some weight on the stand, or if I'm shooting in the winter time, then I'm going to weight it down because obviously I can't put the stakes in the ground when it's frozen. Uh, but anyway, this is just a super, super neat product. It allows me to set up all different types of scenarios uh, by using more than one target. Uh, so anyway, uh, appreciate you watching this video and I hope to hear from you.